signing up for a form. Okay, so now that you have found a form that you feel is going to be worth your while, you've put it up against the checklist that I mentioned, it is time to actually go and join. So I'm going to go ahead and pick this one, dogforms.com, because it's uh, another one I was looking at. Definitely looked like good stuff, but uh, there's a couple things I really like about this form. The main being that it is so, so large in, in the members. And also things are, are really roped out that there's lots of different places that I could be contributing to. So I, th I think it looks good, and also, of course, that they allow signatures too. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and register. You can see, right, okay, there it is, register. So go ahead and click on that. Okay, the first thing that this place is going to ask is for me to verify my birthday. This isn't my actual birthday, so don't uh, don't go sending me any cards. Okay, the forum rules. Now, I would definitely suggest that you check this out because they might say, "Do not be promoting yourself." Uh, other things because you you want to establish a good presence in here. You want to make sure you're following the rules. So I agree. Okay, now it's time to pick a username. Now this is an important thing because your username ideally is going to be descriptive of what you're going to be you know, representing online. I mean, I don't want to make it too obvious. Like, um, and for this example, we're going to pretend that I'm a dog trainer. I'm not really, but uh, that's going to be the, the premise of, of the rest of these videos. So I don't want it to be something like, I sell dog training videos because you know what that's a little bit too in your face um, it is available but <laughs> we're not gonna go with that so I might uh, you know it, it's not un unusual that I wouldn't have dog trainer in my name maybe uh, you know it could be like uh, my name you know whatever my name is and then dog trainer you know be an example or or even even just your name or or perhaps the name of your business uh, you know anything this this is what people are going to know you as or you can just have it be your your nickname uh, whatever you want I don't, I don't think it's it's going to be a, a huge deal it's it's uh, not as important as keywords and SEO and things like that but uh, I think the important is important thing is that you have it not be too in your face and also something that people are going to be able to identify you with because when you start to post on a regular basis they're gonna see your username and be like oh here's another post by such and such I like that person and I definitely agree with what they say I'm gonna check this post out so I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, make a make up a name here and then also you know come up with a password or an email address now uh, you wanna make sure that you use an email address that you're going to be able to check on a regular basis because whenever you write threads uh, people might be sending you emails, people might be responding to threads and if you want to be active and answering people you want to make sure that you're able to receive notifications from the forum so I would not, uh, you definitely do not make up an email address and use something that's, that's you know that you're going to be checking on a regular basis maybe it could even be in the, you know, an email address for your business so I'm going to go ahead and do that, and then of course this form here has a caption too. And now other forms, you know, might be a little bit different. Uh, sometimes they ask for a lot of different settings. I like to, you know, make sure that I have the correct time set, so you know the time is in the threads and everything. And uh, sometimes there's lots of settings that you can get into if you want. Uh, the more information you put about yourself, you know, a picture, it, it's certainly going to help people you know, feel more comfortable about you because you're sharing more about yourself. You're not some, you know, mysterious type of person. So I definitely suggest taking the time to do that as well, though perhaps you might want to hold off on spending too much time until you get a few posts in there to see how this form really is going to react to you getting in and starting to promote. Okay, I filled that information in. Just another thing here. This is important. Do you want to be able to receive email from administrators and also other members? I, I think this is a, a good thing, that again, because you want to facilitate the open communication. I'm just going to go, go ahead and, and click on Complete Registration. And now it says that they sent me an email. I just need to verify that I received it, and then I'll be good to go. This is uh, often a step that they, the forum will take because they want to make sure you're a real person. So then just check your email, and if you didn't receive something from them, check your spam box. And if you still haven't, then you know send them an email and say, hey, listen, I want to join. I didn't receive anything. What's the deal? So that's how you go ahead and sign up for the forum, and I'll see you in the next video.